Hello there, Scorpios. Welcome to your mid-March. So what I feel happening here, um, you know, for the, the last two weeks of March is that I feel a lot of insights and a, a really calm, soothing energy um, permeating your lives, okay? And what I mean by that is, um, especially for some of you who have been, um, you know, if you have been in a relationship where there was infidelity in the past, and I feel like some of you are have been walking around, and I, I especially feel like the past nine months, there was a lot of information coming to light. There was a lot of, um, you know, um, battling um, back and forth within yourself. Sh should I give them another chance? Do I forgive them? Do I move on? Do I go back to it? So it's it's just like all the uncertainty the ebb and flow of, you know, should I or should I not? And um, I also feel like a big part of you too, There, there's this uh, innate sense of like feeling as if you failed at that relationship. So however it ended, I feel like you might have felt like, did I do everything possible within my power to make things work? Did I behave in a way that um, that was conducive for letting the relationship, you know, thrive? And I feel like there was a lot of self-doubt when it came to, you know, your relationship sector in the past. And um, this is the month in which I feel like you're feeling very optimistic again. You're feeling, yes, I did everything I could and it didn't work out. I'm letting it go. And then for others of you, it's, it's sort of like seeing a situation from the past in a realistic focus. And you, you might have come to the insights or the realization that, it wasn't my fault. It was the other person. So I do feel, you know, this whole process of uh, accepting it for what it is, not beating yourself up over it, and also just um, not being so hard on yourself and, you know, kind of like patting yourself on the back and saying that, hey, we did everything we could and it didn't work out the way that we want, but maybe it's not the right person for us, okay? So I, I feel like you're you're a lot calmer. You're a lot more purposeful moving forward okay um what i'm also sensing as well is this for those of you who might have rushed into a new relationship and i feel like you know rushing like somebody was really gunning for it like going for a relationship partner where there wasn't a lot of compatibility to begin with I feel like, yes, the person might have been very exciting, very, um, you know, there might have been a lot of chemistry, there was a lot of passion, but it's it's almost like, it seems to me like, the it, it's an opposites attract type of energy, where the chemistry is really strong, but over the course of the past five months, you might have realized that, I don't know if this is the right person for me because things are so hard. Uh, the relationship has been really difficult coming together. And so I feel like you're reassessing. And I feel that many of you, you're ready to make an offer to this person, but you're still kind of like, you know, um, uh, you're, you're trying to make sure that you don't uh, repeat the same mistakes from the past, which is rushing into f too fast and then end ending up empty-handed and then beating yourself up over it, thinking you did something wrong. So I feel like, you know, it it's important for you to re-examine the past, yes, but don't take the emotional baggage from the past and the fears and the insecurities associated with the past to examine, um, to use that, you know, to, to gauge the potential of a new relationship. So we're, you know, once a relationship ends, we're supposed to heal. We're supposed to take some time off so that we can process everything that has happened. We can leave that um, that relationship in the past for good and not bring the fears associated with it into the future. The lesson should be brought into the future, just not the fears, the anxieties and things like that. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you are in a relationship and, um, it's an opposites attract type of, a reaction. I'm, I'm hearing like chemical reaction. It's a very strong, um, you, you have strong chemistry with another person. But together as a unit, it's kind of challenging to work things out, to know where things are going to go and to know how things are going to pan out for you both as a unit in the future. So I still feel that uh, happening for you where you're still testing the waters. You're still trying to take it slow. And I feel like you are trying to slow things down and the other person is trying to speed things up because they know you're quite a catch and they don't want to lose you.
And then I feel for others of you, if you have had, like, if you have uh, joint custody, um, I do feel like some of you are still dealing with a, a partner from the past that you might have children with, you might have shared assets with. And you might also, um, I feel like if, you know, the, the divorce proceedings have been quite problematic, I feel that you're going to overcome it. I feel like it's left behind for good, okay? So whatever happened in December... Um, I feel like that was pretty much the breakthrough moment to allow you to move forward, okay? So don't um, don't bring this into new relationships with you, okay? Some of you are feeling a little bit like constrained geographically. You might not feel like you, if you're single, for example, you might not feel like the people in your vicinity are in alignment with you, like ideologically, philosophically, or even religiously or politically. You might not feel like you're driving well with the people in your environment and you want to change the scenery. You might want to think about, you know, like uh, traveling, relocating to a different area, but there are some restrictions as well if you have children. So I do feel some of you are looking, branching out, trying to find like-minded people, trying to find groups of people that will be a little bit more receptive to, you know, your energies and the things that you value. Um, overall, when it comes to dating, when it comes to dating, so if the past five months you have gone through like two, three relationships or, you know, gone through through two or three like dating um experiments they're saying for you to tone down and take the next three months off and just chill out a little bit just mellow out okay because i feel like you have a lot of love to give and you're like anxious to start new beginnings you're anxious to find people who are like-minded but i feel that if you have just recently left something behind you're still dealing with it you're still processing it you're still trying to cope with it so the time is not yet and that's specifically for some of you who have recently recently left a relationship you need some more time to be by yourself to be on your own to really you know re realign yourself as a single person and figure out where what you need to do for yourself so I feel like those of you who are dealing with that you need to slow down a little bit and then others um, I feel like you're in a relationship with somebody that you're not completely compatible with but you really care about this person they seem to me like a very strong solid person and they're they're also quite exciting and there's a lot of chemistry here and I feel like you're on the verge of making an offer to them to take the relationship to the next level or something a little bit more solid okay so Scorpios things are looking very good I do see new projects coming through finances I feel like you know you want to start saving up okay so they, they keep mentioning like a savings account or even like opening up, up an IRA so um, opening up something like to to channel your money in so that you're constantly saving and accruing wealth I feel like that's going to be very vital for you uh, from now until December okay so start saving up and I feel some of you are thinking about purchasing new property and new cars as well so that's something that you need to be mindful about I do see new cars coming into the picture uh, sooner than you expect it so for example if you're like by the end of the year I want to get a new car I feel like it's coming in two months before the uh, expected date okay and uh, if you're thinking about property as well or releasing property or getting new property, I do feel the summer time frame until the October time frame, that's the best time frame for that, okay? So I wish you the best. Take care of yourself, Scorpios. Bye-bye.